vlog number three. We are in the car. Headed to Berryessa. Headed to Lake Berryessa, Napa, California. We've been preparing for this race. Randy has been preparing for this race for 12 weeks. I hopped on the, I hopped on the, uh, on the uh, triathlon a little bit later, but I've been training for an Ironman since December. We've been talking about nerves and everything the day before and just training and how different everything is since we started training from the first day to now. And today is the day before the race. April 13th, tomorrow is our race on Sunday, April 14th. And anxiousness is in the car. Up to here, bro, <laughs> up to here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of funny because I don't know in my life that I've ever taken on anything willfully that has brought so much anxiousness. You know how you might feel like you got in trouble because you did something. <laughs> <laughs> and so you feel anxious because you know you got, you know, you're in trouble. But willful participation in something that brings you so much anxiety I don't know that I've ever done that before, bro. And I've been training and competing in every freaking sport in the world since I was four years old. And I'm used to the nerves and the anxiousness and the anxiety. And I know, I know when they come, I know when they go, I know how they feel. I know how it's gonna feel on, on game day. I know how it's gonna feel the day after game day. Oh. I, know how to, I know how it feels during. I know, how, I know the ins and outs of all competition because I've done so much different competition that I know that it all feels the same no matter what sport, <laughs> event, anything you're gonna do. Nerves are normal, anxiousness is normal, anxiety is normal. Like I said, like, you know, with boxing and kickboxing and jujitsu and nogi grappling and wrestling like always the nerves were always there during tournaments but the nerves i feel before tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> like i would say like the contact sports like the football the jiu-jitsu kickboxing boxing and all that stuff is about here and then the nerves for tomorrow swim if i could go a little bit higher than this roof my hand would be sticking out yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I know what it I know what it is like to stand on the beach and start to the swim. I've done one triathlon before with no training, as I said in the other two videos, whatever, whatever, but I know what it's gonna feel like, but at the same time, like I'm scared. I don't I mean I'm not scared. I'd say I'm just I'm nervous and I just now is the point, like I said, it's all mental because it's the week of and it's the day before. Like, I just want to get there and I want to go. Like, I don't care. I know I'm going to have a great time during the race. Um, the first five minutes of the swim is going to suck because my body's going to be adapting to the cold ass water and just adapting to having a bunch of people around me swimming, breathing in my face, probably slapping and kicking me. Um, and like I said, as much as I want to say I'm going to take it easy during the swim, I know once I, once I, once I get comfortable in the water and I know that everything is all good I, I know I'm gonna hit that gas pedal yeah um, that's how I'm feeling <laughs> I know I'm gonna hit that gas pedal and try to compete with everybody so I mean like I said man I'm, I'm, I'm the type where it's just go hard or go home and you either fucking leave it all in the playing field or you live with regrets you know a lot of the times where I thought that I had things won and I didn't have to train hard I didn't have to do this or do that I never enjoyed the victory afterwards because I knew that there was just a little bit more I could have given that I never gave because I was playing it safe or because just whatever. Um, like there's even like jujitsu tournaments that I would go to like and when I first started competing as a white belt, blue belt, and, like I would beat everybody easy like in you know one or two minutes, and I would I wouldn't try so hard, you know, and the next day I'd wake up feeling like I lost. I didn't feel satisfied because I knew that there was there were you know positions or just stuff that I could have done that that that, that I would have made me satisfied. But I never took those risks because I wanted to be in control um, and dominate. You know, and those of you that do jujitsu know exactly what I'm talking about. 
Um, those of you that do any type of context work know exactly what I'm talking about. But um, anyway, um, so like I said, I'm not going to play it safe. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can. But like I said, I need to warm up to that swim first. <laughs> but like I said, the, the nerves are definitely real. The anxiousness is real. We got about an hour drive out to Napa left. Uh, we're going to get there. We're going to pick up our packets today and all of our race stuff. We're going to sit by the water, look at the course a little bit, probably walk a little bit of the run and bike course, maybe. Um, check into our hotel, our hotels. And no, we're not, we're not sleeping together. <laughs> <laughs> our ladies are coming up later on in the day. So they'll be with us tonight in our own hotels. Um, and then, uh, like I said, just hang out, get some food, and tomorrow wake up and do the damn thing, baby. It's all you can do. We'll, I will update more videos. Um, I'll try to put this video up tonight, so uh, there will be more videos. Uh, I'm hoping to have somebody record the race for me tomorrow so that I can have some race stuff for people to watch. But like I said, if you're sitting on the couch and watching this shit, and this is motivating you the last three days, like, put a pair of shoes on, go outside, and just walk around. 10 minutes outside of your house around the and, block and walk back and see how much better you feel when you get home and shower after you shower and get settled um anybody can do this shit man it's not you, you, you don't have to be special like i said randy 12 weeks ago was 206 pounds and this morning yeah 186 and this morning he weighed in at 186 um so he's 20 pounds down in 12 weeks. He's running, running, biking, swimming every single day. Or not every single day, but he's training hard every single day. Um, his mindset's different. You know, turn it down. Be um, right <laughs> back again. Um, so, like I said, his mindset's different. He feels different. Like I said, just 20 pounds alone. Like, pick up a 20 pound dumbbell. See how that feels. Like, it's heavy. You're carrying that around. And you don't need to. All you have to do is change your mindset, man. And even if it's not a triathlon, do something. If you like to lift, or if you want to lift weights, go go to the gym. Don't be afraid for people to see you do that shit. Fuck them. <laughs> um, if you want to run, go run. If you want to, I don't know what, whatever it is you want to do. You gotta get started somewhere. Yeah, you just have to get started. And you can't get started sitting on the damn couch. Get up now and go. Um, man, there's so much stuff I can say, but. I think I'm good. I'll come more with a little bit more later. <laughs> All right, so we're signing out. Ready to go. Peace. station keep going straight so check out the, check out we're gonna start right here boom come out to that yellow you got the red all the way out to that far one out there and then all the way back in boom you'll be making your way up through these cones up here up there into the bike area all right so it's Saturday, April the 13th, 2019. Um, it is 7 p.m. Pacific time. Now in my hotel, so we went to the venue earlier, checked out the venue, this, the whole course. So the swim looks like a swim. The... Um, now the swim, uh, yeah, it's anywhere from like, I think I, I think it's may, more around 800 meters than 750, so 800 meters on the swim. It's all right there off the dock. It's a nice little spot. Um, so the swim, yeah, the swim will be the swim. The bike has some serious rolling hills. Um, not too much, not too many steep climbs. Just um, really uh, just rolling hills. It's gonna be hard to get a nice rhythm going on the bike um but it's 
nothing I haven't done with, dealt with before. The run is also rolling hills. We we drove the the, the run course as well. Um, it's just up and down, just, just like a roller coaster. So that'll be fun. So, but all in all, the trip today to get our packets was uh, was a success. We got to hang out by the the launch ramp where we're swimming off at tomorrow at 9 a.m. Um, got to see you know the entire course so I feel good now like I said it was tempting to not jump in the water I mean it was tempting to jump in the water but we held ourselves back I had to hold myself hold myself back you know because I wanted to get in there and just swim around um, but like I said I didn't want to blow myself out today um, save the energy for tomorrow like I said today is just about rest and recovery um, all the work's already put in so um, it's gonna be fun. So I got my race packet here. So this is what I'll be racing with tomorrow. You got the hits training or the hits triathlon series um, swim cap. I got my timing chip for the run. I have my bib. They all attach to my belt. Then I have my stickers for my bike. Stickers for the bike. Boom. Got all my gear packed already. Uh, I'll set it all up and transfer it to a smaller bag, which I got from the place. So all my stuff will fit into that bag there. Um, that's basically it. So waiting on Jen to show up to hang out with me. Um, so yeah, like I said, everything now is just set up, relax, probably go hang out with Randy a little bit more, um, and then hang out with Jen for the rest of the night. Um, Got to set the bike up a little bit with my nutrition, set up my swim cap, set up everything that way in the morning. I just have one bag, take off, head out, and set everything up over there and race, man. This is this is what we work for, man. This is what we work for. Um, final thoughts. I'm just ready. That's it. I'm just ready. Let's get it.